Hello everybody, it's Joel here again for my next vlog for Golf Monthly and welcome along, see if you can guess the hole here, I'll just tell you anyway, it's Bearwood Lakes down I think in Hampshire because today is a special day, it's Monday of BMW PGA Championship week which means a lot of the big names are here. Now as I'm sure you know Luke Donald, Mizuno staff player, is out of action at the moment with a dodgy back but he's still flown over here to help Mizuno open their new performance fitting centre down on the range through those trees somewhere and I am lucky enough to get some time with him on this vlog which is a fantastic opportunity. We're going to talk about his equipment, so wedges, irons, the kind of things he thinks about when choosing his clubs, any modifications he makes, things like that. Should be a really good chat and we're also going to see Mizuno open their new performance fitting centre, there's also a kind of tour fitting centre and there might even be some free food at the barbecue later, so I'm definitely going to hang around for that. But for now, let's go and see what's going on down at the range. So this is the entrance to the new driving range here at Bearwood Lake. Shall we have a look? So welcome along here to Mizuno's new tour fitting centre. There's all sorts of stuff going on here, loads of shafts on the walls, some comfy sofas, and I am joined by none other than Luke Donald. There he is. Luke, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. I'm going to step behind the camera because in this video we're talking about you and specifically your equipment. Now, well actually before we talk about that, Let's talk about your health, because I know you're out with back problems at the moment. Tell us how you are. Yeah, not much fun. Uh, obviously, been struggling a little bit on and off the um, last few months, really, with some, some back issues. Uh, pretty common for golfers, unfortunately. Uh, you know, it happens to most of us at some point in our career. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate with injuries over, over the years. But, uh, yeah, just got some uh, inflammation, low back, and um, you know, doing some treatment and, uh, and work on it to to get it back uh, back ready but um, yeah disappointing frustrating it was always that always is when you when you're out and can't compete but uh, hopefully I'll be out there uh, again competing very soon. I was going to say so it's mid-May now when can we expect to see you back out playing? Yeah I, I don't really have a time frame but uh, hopefully within the next couple of months uh, you, you'll get to see me uh, out, and, out in the links again. Great well we all want to see you back out there obviously playing good golf like we know you do but now let's talk about your equipment. Now these aren't your clubs. No not specifically these, but these uh, are Mizuno this, uh, demo this clubs. The that I play which is okay. the, uh, the MP18. I uh, put these in the bag um, I think at the end of last year, maybe beginning of this year. So um, obviously a, a, quite a, a bit more of a blade-like um, um, iron, a little bit different to the one that I played before, which was the JPX 900, which was a little bit more cavity back. So uh, a little bit more, this is kind of what I've kind of played throughout my career, something where I get quite a lot of feedback. A little bit harder to hit, a little bit more harder to find the middle of the face but uh, was that know, a I challenge to that. switch to a, yeah, a less I, forgiving I, golf club you know I, I wanted to I, I got a lot of great feedback from the JPX 900s and um, but they were almost uh, you know too forgiving which is a great thing for amateurs you know I think they're a great club for amateurs and pros you know the US Open guy uh, Brooks Kepka won the US Open playing those irons so you know it can be for pros and uh, amateurs alike but um, you know I think um, for me, I've always kind of loved the feedback. When I hit it in the middle, I know exactly it's in the middle. And sometimes the JPXs, I would hit it slightly off center and uh, it would feel like it was in the center. I wasn't quite getting the feedback that I wanted. Uh, and I really love that about the MP18. So, um, you know, different, uh, different irons for, for different players and different ha what people like. And do you split your set? Did you have a full set of MP18s? Uh, I have a or? full set of uh, MP18s. Um, four iron through pitching wedge so I have a little bit more of a forgiving three iron um, and then I obviously have the uh, the T7 uh, wedges 54 and a 60. Now let's talk about your wedges because I've been to Mizuno factory in Japan and met your grinder who grinds your wedges <laughs> so tell us the kind of request that you make 
in terms of the shape of yeah, the sole again, these, on your these aren't mine, but appreciate uh, these aren't yours. I have, a, yours. I have a 60 and a 54, and uh, I think over the years, you know, I've gotten really comfortable about what I like in a, in a wedge. Um, you know, I like to use, um, be able to use the bounce uh, in my technique and chipping. So I like to have this the back edge here kind of shaved down quite a lot. It gives me a little bit more when I open up the club face. It sits a little bit square on the ground. Um, you know, so I have very little bounce uh, on my uh, wedges. I only have six degrees of bounce on, on my log wedge and um, eight degrees, I think, on my 54. So, you know, I, I tend to not think that, uh, you know, obviously bounce is, is something that helps the amateur players get the ball up in the air. Uh, I feel like I have good technique. I'd rather do it with good technique and, and through a little bit less bounce, I can create that kind of low spinny shot that, that I love to hit when I'm hitting pitch shots. And if you had to give the guys watching one bit of short game advice to improve their short game, what would it be? Well, obviously practice, first and foremost, it takes time. The biggest thing I would be is, is really understand how the club works, you know. Um, obviously, in, in pitching, most people, I, most amateurs I see have uh, incorrect fundamentals when it comes to setup. You know, they tend to get the, I think they were taught to get the ball back in their stance, uh, you know, lean that shaft way forward open their feet and kind of hit the ball which is great if you want to hit it solid and get it to to run but you know most of the time you have to hit it over a, a ridge or over a bunker hit that kind of high soft one that spins and uh, the best way to do that is through completely the opposite of that you know get the ball a little bit more forward you know lean the shaft more vertically up and down so that way you're you're opening up uh, the face and creating uh, the opportunity to use the bounce properly well luke thank you for your time as ever, we hope to see you back on the golf course very soon. Yeah, me too. Um, but for now, thanks a lot. Cheers, thank you. Hello, welcome to part two of my vlog of me talking to tour pros about stuff. We are here at Fox Hills Golf Club, a really nice golf club in the Wentworth area. And we are talking today to Soren Kelsen, Danish tour pro, four-time European tour winner, and all-round good bloke. I played with him in a pro-am in Abu Dhabi a few years ago and he is a thoroughly nice chap and a very good short game exponent as well. So we're going to be doing a chipping challenge, which you can watch on the Golf Monthly YouTube channel. We're going to be asking Soren some random-ish questions about life on tour. Obviously, he's a bit of a veteran, uh, kind of, you know, what mulligans he'd take if he had one, what he's learnt from his years on tour, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully it should give you some good insight into what it's all about playing on the European tour. So. Let's go and catch up with him, see what he's got to say for himself, and hopefully we can make a bit of a fist of this short game challenge. Welcome along to Fox Hills Golf Club and look who we've got behind me, this four-time European Tour winner, Soren Kelsen. Soren, how are you doing? Come here and chat. Okay. Thank you for uh, joining us on my vlog. Uh, we just filmed a short game challenge which we're not going to share the result, but let's just say, was it entertaining? Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. I, uh, you put a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Well, I've got some random questions for you. We'll start with your proudest moment on tour. It's a difficult one because there, there are many things that stand out. But I think when I won the World Cup with Torbjorn Olesen in, uh, in Australia in, in 16, I think being in, in a very individual sport, I think to, to win something with a guy next to you was, uh, was pretty special. And I think it's one of those things that I never really thought that uh, I'd experience in my sport. And you're a bit of a veteran on the European tour. What's the biggest thing you've learned in all those years playing professional golf? I think the biggest thing is that you need to find your way. Um, so th there's no manual, there's nobody that can tell you what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Uh, you, you need to be in charge and you need to find out what works for you and then, then you can consult people and ask them for, for their opinion and that. But I think it's very important that you manage your golf, your career and then, uh, and then take advice um, on top of that. As we just talked about, you've had a lot of years on tour, but if you could have one mulligan, where would it be? If you could hit one shot again, what would it be? Uh, it would be my putt uh, at Augusta in uh, 2016. 
Uh, I hit a close there on, on 16 on Sunday, uh, and if I make birdie there, I, I think I'm still, then I'm maybe one behind if I make that. Uh, and I ended up three putting it. Um, I, thankfully, I, I birdied 18, which sort of helped a little bit, but I'd like to hit that putt again. What would be the one rule in golf that you would change if you could? I've been asked this before and I never really come up with a very clever answer. I mean, a lot of people say divots, spike marks. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not a big fan of that because what I think is we've got an extremely slow game in the first place. So divots, spike marks and all that is only going to add time. So, and and I'm, not, I'm not for that. I think we, we need to do everything we can do to speed our game up so it doesn't become painfully slow. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big believer in that. So, um, Are you of the opinion that the game's a bit too slow at the moment? I, I, th I certainly think it's one of the challenges of, of our game, is that it's slow. At the same time, it's also the beauty of the game, because you need to, you know, you need to last for a long time, and you need to focus at the right times, and you need to relax during you know, the four or five hour round, and I think that's one of the beauties as well. But I still believe that, you know, we are a little bit on the slow side, so we certainly don't need to make any changes that make the game slower. Uh, your funniest moment on tour? I've got, you know, I've got a few embarrassing moments. Yeah, that'll uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, my next question. One, one, of my, one of my first years on tour, um, I had uh, Julian Phillips on the back. He's, he's known as the ferret out here. He's, he's been here out here for 25, 30 years. So we played the fourth hole at, at Belfry. Because I was, I was in a nasty mood, so I said to him, you made that hole really difficult for me. I just made six or something on it. And Julian looked at me and he said, uh, OK, sorry, I've had enough. So he put the bag down, starts walking towards the clubhouse. So he walks, walks about 200, 250 yards away. And then he turns around. I've got the bag on my shoulder by now. And, uh, and he comes back and he looks me straight in the eye and he says, Soren, I'll show you what class is. And then he picks up the bag and he walks to the next tee. And I run after him and give him a big hug and say that I'll never behave like that again. For me, that was, uh, that was one of those moments. Right, okay, so that ends the vlog. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you did by clicking the like button and commenting on the video. My work here at Fox Hills is not done. Actually filming a trolley review video with uh, Harry over there. Um, but for the vlog, anyway, that part is done. Hope you enjoy the time with the tour pros. Nice to hear what they've got to say on their clubs, their technique, and also the lighter side of life on the European tour as well. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think of these vlogs. Are you enjoying them? Do you want to see more tour pros on here? Do you want to see course vlogs? Do you want to see equipment? What do you want to see on these vlogs from me? But for now, from a very sunny Fox Hills, it's goodbye.